um, money left over and I didn't see everything that I wanted to get at the Disney parks at the Disney parks so I took my leftover money and I went to the Disney store <laughs> um, and so now I'm gonna show you the guy you guys the things I bought at the Disney store some of them I believe I could have bought at the parks but I didn't realize I wanted until later other things I chose to buy at the Disney store rather than the Disney parks and so I'm gonna segue into that um, as I was saying earlier the Disney parks um, the you know Disney World theme parks and stuff buying things there is expensive it is crazy they mark up the prices a little bit and I know this because I live you know a 20 to 30 minute walking distance from a Disney store and then I live a 20 to 30 minutes driving distance to a completely different Disney store like I live relatively close not to one but to two Disney stores okay Park, Park Meadows and the Aurora Mall and um so I'm, I'm one of those very lucky people where I can go into the Disney store all the time and see what merchandise they have and see what's new and things go on sale and things, you know, not necessarily relatively cheap at all, but you realize when you're at the Disney store looking at something that you know at the Disney store is $19.95, but at the parks it's $24.95. And with your 20 discount, again, like it evens out, but, um... I wasn't willing to play those prices at, at the parks and then have to bring all that stuff with me. So I figured if I didn't spend all the money I've saved, I would have money to spend at home where I wouldn't have then to bring it with me on a suitcase. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have to worry about packing it. So some of the stuff was sold at the Disney stores, but I didn't buy it for monetary reasons. Some of the stuff I got probably is at or the Disney store, the Disney parks, but I didn't see it or I wasn't interested at the time. And, um, some of the stuff I didn't see at the Disney parks at all, and so I bought it. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and segue into that. So basically, uh, buy from your Disney stores when you can. If you're close to one, there are, you can buy online. They do if you sign up for their emails. I will say that Disney online actually gives a lot of great coupons out. You know, just have to be alert for that. It's not, I feel like, the same because you have to pay shipping and handling, you know, and stuff like that when you buy from online. Be, I don't know if you have to do with taxes. I don't think you have to do with taxes. I don't think that stuff is here yet. Um, so you don't have to, you know, I don't believe your tax. So I know Build-A-Bear taxes, I believe. I don't know if the Disney store taxes because I don't buy online from them. Um, the Disney park, you know, I got my hat for the standard price it was at the Disney park, um, plus shipping and handling. So that sucks. Like I wouldn't have to do shipping and handling if I just bought it there, but come see, come see. So I, I definitely suggest if you're not living close to one, then buying online just because it's cheaper kind of than getting the Disney Park stuff, but the Disney Park app does allow you to buy things that aren't sold at the Disney store. Okay, so now we're gonna finish this haul off with what I bought from my local Disney store. Um, first things first, I finally got a medium piglet. Um, piglet is my favorite Winnie the Pooh character. I associated myself with him growing up. I was small and quiet and scared of everything. Um, so when they, I was bummed when Zoom Zooms first came out and there were medium poos everywhere, but not medium piglets. So I finally got my medium piglet. Yay! Um, the next is my favorite Princess is Belle. So I just went ahead and bought the Belle Zoom Zoom because, you know, I love her. So why not? I don't necessarily think she's all that cute, but I think she's an interesting creation. And the next thing I'm going to show you is an animator doll. I got Boo finally. I'm really excited to do an unboxing for her. Um, I will say that I didn't see many, if any, animator dolls. In the parks, um, the ones I saw the most of were Anna and Elsa, and I think some Kristoff, but I didn't see Boo at all. And they might have had some other princesses, but mostly the only, anim like, and I'm, I'm saying mostly because my memories are iffy and stuff, but I definitely remember seeing Anna and Elsa, and that's it. I don't think I saw any other animator dolls, and I looked because I really wanted Boo. So I finally got her. Um, Unless they release any other cool animator dolls that, uh, that I want. I think my next one is going to be Tiana. Finally. Oh, I've been waiting to get her forever. Um, and I also got, I saw this at the Disney parks, but I decided not to buy this. And then I saw it 
at my Disney store and I was like, why didn't I buy this at the Disney parks? It's actually really cool. It is this Disney um, cell phone holder and I like it because the top part's see-through and it's got little pink dots and a little mini mouse zoom zoom keychain. So I bought that and I'm really happy because now I have four phone case four phone cases for my new phone and I, I like having phone cases I can switch out, you know? I like being decorative. I don't know. And, and then I got, they were having a sale on this brand. Okay, and it is sold on the DisneyStore.com. Nice, nice. All the information is right here. Do you guys see the price of that? I tried to cover it. I didn't even think. Um, but basically this brand when I went into the Disney store was buy one get one half off. So I got the mini hat and the Mickey hat because I couldn't decide which one I liked better. So I just bought them both. So now I have two winter hats coming up with adorable little pom-pom ears. I really am digging headwear. Um, and last but not least, this is the thing I was talking about which is 20 Oh, and the Animators doll was on sale at my Disney store for 18 bucks. So I'm glad I didn't buy her at the Disney store because she probably would have cost me my first child. Um, but these are 20 bucks. They're the mini animator collections. Um, they're 20 bucks at the Disney store. I believe they're either $24.99 or $26.99 at, at Walt Disney World. And I'm not about that life, y'all. I was like, I can just, I'm not spending that money. I'm not spending 30 bucks for these, okay? Um, I will spend 20. I will not spend 30. Um, so I got Lilo and Stitch. And I'm probably gonna keep her like I kept um, Jasmine in the case. It's just easy, they're all, it's already displayed. I do wanna take them out one day, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. I absolutely love miniatures, and so that they made like the animator dolls like a mini with all these really cute accessories makes me a happy, happy person. I literally, despite them making animator dolls of some characters I don't like, I want to own every single one of them. I absolutely love them. And like, look at the detailing that went into the Stitch and Lilo case. Like, this is crazy. So I got that one. And then, as you guys already saw, I also got Belle. They have a glitter rose um, handle for this one. And she just looks so adorable. And she has uh, all her animals and her book and her tea set. It's like me. Um, but that is the last thing in my um, Disney store haul. I'm very grateful because, like, shout out to my Disney store. I run up. And they're like, okay, well, this is your total. I'm like, cool, we're going to do this much on cash. And we'll do the rest on the card because, like, I went over my budget. My life is complicated, okay? And they pulled out a 20% coupon and hooked a sister up. And they've done that. This is the second time they've done that for me where they're like, hey, just so you know, it's like a special coupon day. So we're just going to hook you up. You're supposed to say something, but don't worry about it. You seem cool. And I'm like... I'm not the thanks. <laughs> I love this place. Um, I cannot wait for um, Black Friday because the Disney stuff animals go um, on sale and they now have a giant Baymax. So I have like the regular size Baymax, but now they have a giant one for 40 bucks. So when he goes on sale, I'm going to get him. And um, yeah, my mom's going to be so proud of that. So that is everything I got. And I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you guys live vicariously through me like I've lived vicariously through other YouTubers. I hope you're enjoying, well, I mean, this is going to be the last video in my Disney um, kind of collection thing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my Disney themed videos. We'll be going back to regular boring videos in like any day now. Um, Literally, I think I'm still in the process at this time in my life. I'm still trying to edit that first video for day one of Disney. So when you guys will see this, all the videos will be out. So I'm guessing I'll be 30 by the time that happens. <laughs> 
Anyways, I'm going to take the thumbnail picture and um, I am, I just want to say I'm sorry if any of you thought I was bragging in any which way. I'm also sorry if this, okay, this is like the third or fourth video and it's only 13 minutes. I might have to break this in half. Like I'm not trying to do a 30 minute haul video. But I'm sorry if I came on, um, if you guys think I came off bragging in any which way. That's always my biggest theme with hauls is that number one, I want to go shopping uncontrollably when I buy, when I watch hauls on YouTube. And number two, um, I feel like some people can be a little insincere and I hope I never come across that way. Otherwise, I'm going to head out. I want you guys to know that I love you and care about you. And if you're ever having a hard, hard day, please uh, just always remember something that makes me happiest putting glitter on it, making it look pretty, even if it's a grotesque day. Um, so, I love you guys. I love you. Pat some glitter on it, and I will see you later. Bye!